in this video we are going to do some cool practical stuff and uh, learn how to perform forensic and uh, malware analysis i hope you like this video so um before we get started i just want to quickly tell you about the environments of what uh, do you need for you know getting hands on the wheel and start basically doing uh, malware analysis in uh, android and doing this sort of basically forensic operations so first you need a proper operating system i would recommend you using you know mac os or <clears throat> or linux i mean if you have windows still it works fine there is no issue with that but it's usually faster and easier to do things you know in mac or linux uh, you need to somehow isolate that even though we are dealing with apks and uh, they are not very harmful for pc machines uh, but it still is better you know to be on the safe side and having you know a virtual machine or something like that so what do you need uh, a proper you know the first thing you need you need a uh, os or host machine so uh, for example mac os or linux linux maybe ubuntu is is quite easy you know for installation and configuration or you can use kali linux or black arch I, i'm gonna actually introduce them for you these are actually even the best because you can you have all the tools ready in place and uh, then we are going to actually install um, APK tool for our practice today. And the other thing we are going to do using basically Gitra for in-depth analysis. So let's see um, what do you need. I mean, let me have first talk a little bit about the operating system here. Um, you can actually, if you want to do everything faster, um, you can either use Kali Linux um, if you go over here, you can download it. This is free. And um, then, um, you know, you can either install that on your machine or you can use some uh, virtual machine or virtual box, something like that. I would recommend you using uh, virtual box. This is free and um, you can actually just, there, are, there is some GUI here and things are quite easy. You just need to install that based on your operating system and just next introduce the ISO file of your operating system and then everything would be fine. So that's one way. Uh, if you have also any normal system right now, you can still you know, do this practices, follow that. But if you want to do this more in depth, you know, then it's better off you set up your own virtual machine. So yeah, you can download this, then you can install Kali Linux or the other things I can actually recommend you is Black Arch. Uh, or, or black arc actually i don't know the, the right pronunciation i would say black arch mostly but black arc uh, and this actually archived a whole bunch of you know tools for penetration testing and security purposes okay so that's also the the um you know the full version is about 18 gigabytes so it's kind of huge and when you get the iso file you can either install that on the flash disk and the, and the host machine or easily you can just drop that inside of virtual bags and over here you can just um, install that and next next and that's really easy there are like auto installation form there are some GUI here so it's not a big deal and if you just use a mac os like me then things are even more easier so the first thing we need to do here for our analysis today is um we are going to uh, understand, um, you know, different part of a given APK, APK file, which is, you know, executable Android app uh, to understand what's going on behind of that. So imagine this scenario, you are working for a company and your boss uh, or your company actually has been hacked. OK, so now you are you are as a security expert, as an, um, you know, forensic expert you are responsible to understand the source of this hack and try to prevent them and clear up your know, systems. So how you can do that, for instance, your boss, imagine this scenario, has re recently received or installed some apps that look legitimate, you know, and it's okay. Just imagine this is like Signal. This is a web browser or a game, you know, just go some places and uh, download some games, you know, places like that. And, uh, or receive an email via, you know, phishing email or something like that with one APK and, and her or his phone. That app looks legitimate and everything is okay, but 
inside of app there might be some you know spyware or some sort of malicious activity so now you have the phone you find the apk file and now it's your task to go and do the forensic and see what you can get and prove you know documents and write down the report imagine this scenario this is kind of you know a real life scenario that can happen if you take a serious job you know so um <clears throat> Um, so in order to do that, um, let me start off with um, some databases here. You can actually use that for our practices for the other videos as well. So as you know, if you go to Google Play, you can't download you know the APK files. You know that's that's quite clear. We know that you can't download the APK files. And that's essentially because Google Play try to protect, you know, uh, its intellectual properties and, you know, having like a, how can I say, monopoly type of market and control the market and so many other reasons. Also developers, some of those, they don't like to distribute the app directly. They might to, like to do it through Google Play to have some sort of licensing. You know, when you pay something to Google, you, get, you know, take some cuts and, uh, pay the rest to the developer or the company. So um, there are some alternative places that you can actually find Android files for more practices. And here you can actually find the APK files itself. One of which is called F-Droid. Um, F-Droid is like open source marketplace. So you can go over here and find a whole bunch of apps. So there are so many apps actually here. You need to search them, you know, and I don't know, look for, for example, game or I don't know anything like that and you can find um, you know lots of file here and if you just try to you know I don't know we have this tic-tac-toe uh, here you can easily go and uh, download you know uh, this one or you can actually download the APK itself okay so this APK is actually could be quite legitimate they could have actually contained some sort of virus or malware and by the same token, even when something is on Google Play, there is no any, uh, you know, um, strict, you know, um, in-depth analysis on that. So still you can, or anyone else, a malicious user can develop a malware, a ransomware, a keylogger, anything like that, and put it on Google Play. This is feasible because as far as I know, Google Play actually doesn't ask for the source code. You know, you can just upload that. Uh, pay some fees and um, after one or two days actually is just there you know it's that much quick and fast and that's why there are lots of you know kind of a spammy apps a lot of malwares and things like that of course we can try to improve that but anyway still that's the game so the other way around if you want to analyze a target app which is located on google play because your your boss or your colleague or you might actually install some app that you are suspicious that maybe it's actually manly uh, one way is to come to you know fdroid try to find that app and download this apk the another way around is to you know go to github and there are some basically uh, google play cloner okay uh, there are some tools here that allows you to basically um, clone, you know, uh, Google Play, okay? Mostly are not really legitimate, uh, you know, because it's against, you know, you know, Google, you know, laws and so on. But for forensic and this sort of operation is, is okay, I think. So um, you, you've got to go and actually um, search for that. I mean, here perhaps it's not the right one, but there are many tools out there you can do that i may actually collect some of those um i don't know it's um it's actually it would be problematic or not but you got the uh, keyword so you need to go look for cloner you know google play there are alternative you know um, you know open source market like fdroid you can also find the app there so that was it so the first thing uh, or first tool that we are going to use for app analysis is apk tool you can also go to its GitHub, and uh, this is a kind of cool tool for reverse engineering. And as you can see, its uh, repository is uh, uh, basically uh, quite uh, bleeding, you know, and uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, well updated. There are 78 contributors here. 
So it's a good place. The tool is, is constantly getting updates. So yeah, it's kind of a reliable tool here. And uh, <coughs> if I come back, here is its page here, explain you how to install that. So I real quick actually explain you if you have Mac, how to install this. Uh, the command is quite simple. You just need to write down this command um, here. Um, uh, if you don't have brew, you can install brew, B-R-E-W, and then install APK2. So I've already installed that. If you, if you have this one, then everything is easy. So if you don't have Brew on your Mac, just go and try to install that. You know, install, um, to install Mac. You might find alternative one on uh, Windows or other tools as well. Uh, yeah, then you can give it a shot. You know, here you can, how you can install that. Um, um, On your Mac or other machines, I haven't actually used that on Windows or Linux. Um, in you know, in Linux we have a, a, uh, apt get you know those sort of commands, but mostly I use Mac here. So the uh, yeah, so then then is everything easy, and the next command would be something like that. Um, Like this, you can actually install that. It's kind of easy. Um, the um, so let's see, actually check it out. Do we have that? When you install that properly, you can actually check this with this command. And as you can see, I have the V version two point six zero. Um, and the next thing you got to install is Ghidra. Ghidra is quite a reputable tool for um, you know malware analysis, for reverse engineering, and a whole bunch of security purposes. Uh, this is on top of JVM Java. So if you want to have that, you first need to install Java. Uh, um, let's say I have Mac uh, or let's say you have just Brew on your machine. Installing Java actually is not a big deal. It's kind of easy. Um, you just need to install, install it like this. This is one way of um, doing that. I guess this is for, yeah. Then you just need to install this command. Um, maybe you need to update that to get the latest version and so forth. But um, so for doing that first, you need Java. Um, so how you can install that like that. Uh, if you have Windows, it's even easier for Java itself, you know, so you can download one of its uh, Java JDK or, you know, um, you can go on Oracle and download this here and download page. Um, if you just go, um, yeah, over here, you can just download the file. Um, here you have Debian file and the other things. Um, that the website, you can actually download it directly for Windows, even is it Java. For example, if you have Windows 10, go here, java.com. This is Oracle, I guess. Um, you can install even, you know, instead of Open JDK, you can also install, you know, JDK, Oracle JDK, and I believe this is for free. Or you can use that, you know, like Brew or the other commands here, so as you can see. And you've got to actually do these things to just set it, uh, your Java as a uh, home version, you know, to, to make sure that you really have that, you know, if I uh, do this version, I get the version. So that being said, my Java actually is installed. You know, if I go to the other folders here and say Java again, you know, um, Java, for example, version, you see, I still have it here. So that means the global variables, everything is are, you know, in place and it's fine. So don't forget to do that. Um, I just add this one here for you guys. So after uh, Java, then you need um, to install Ghidra. So you can install Ghidra on top of Java because this is a JVM tool. It works on top of the JVM bundle. So um, Ghidra, if you go to its web page here, you can actually download this code from um, uh, from the 
from its GitHub repository, or you can actually go over here and download its stable version. Um, there are some guides for the installation. It's kind of easy, but I can actually write it down for you because on Mac, it might be a little bit tricky. So how you can install that on Mac? Um, um, let me actually write it down all over here. So then, um, it's gonna be like this um, again use brew and then install then cask and then you need to install uh, timurin and then after that install cask hydra and in order to execute that, you need to type this git raw run, okay? And then you have it. So that was git raw. So that's pretty much our minimalistic, you know, uh, set. So we are ready to go and start, you know, a cool forensic job.